And we're back with some more oxygen not included. Definitely oxygen not included. Uh, today we're just doing, I've queued up a giant sweep. The game is already slowing down a bit, so queuing up all of these low priority sweep commands, they're all level one. That should hopefully help start uh, slow, mm, speeding up the game. I've stacked it all up here. I think this is about as central as it's going to get, and we're going to be going up probably a lot more than, uh, you know what, up or down, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll find resources everywhere we go. But we also want to set up metal refinement. So I'm thinking we're going to throw a metal refinery over here and use the chill water from down here to act as coolant while we crank out enough steel to get some, uh, well, enough for our industrials brick. This will be our metal refinement. We'll pump the cold water to there. That's all about one degree or so. All of that cold water will get dumped up into the metal refineries. The metal refineries will well, heat it up when they refine their metal and then they'll dump it over here down into the section and it will help melt this whole ice biome. I mean, it's a good place to dump the heat, right? We're now stacking up on polluted and normal water. If we can have a, a quick look in here, we can ch change iron to iron ore. That will though increase the temperature of the polluted water by 32 degrees. Steel will increase it by 56. So we need to keep everything below its boiling point. Uh, you know what? Let's start off with 10 iron. Actually, let's make it just 12 for now. We only need about 10, but we'll do 12 iron and then we'll do 12 steel as well. And then once we've got that done, we'll see what else we've got available for us. That's going to take a lot of coal, but we don't care. Oh, one second while we change all these to 100%. The reason you change all of these generators to 100% is so that they request coal, even if there's a full battery power. This happens all the time to people. You set this up and you're wondering why your coal generators never get fuel. It's because they're by default set to 50%. If your smart battery is already at 50%, then they won't request fuel. Uh, I've set the battery here to 60% as its minimum, 90% as its maximum. So if they run out of fuel, they'll still request it no matter how much battery power is still in there. Uh, let's get this started. Who's going? Hey, I think we've already made some iron, have we? Yeah, nice. Uh, once we get that up and running, we also want to get plastic. So I'm thinking we'll do some plastic production down here. That's the temperature down here. 42. This worked out amazingly well. I really thought that was not going to work out as well as it did. You know we can deconstruct that. Take out that little chunk. We're going to stick in a liquid pump down here, but uh, I think we need a little bit more oxygenation. This will be our very simplistic plastic production. Well, once we get a bit of steel, we're going to pump the crude oil out of here. Filter out any of the salt water that's gotten into it over this side. Well, we'll filter out the salt water and dump it over here back on this edge. The crude oil will get dumped into an oil refinery and then refined into petroleum and then the refined petroleum will turn into plastic once we get enough steel to put in a decent plastic press. Um, so far the temperature here hasn't gotten too bad. It's still livable and I think we'll be fine considering the amount of mass we've dumped in here. I'm putting in the ladder segments everywhere so we just dump down all of the rocks, everything. This giant mass of stuff should keep it livable but not comfortable. Anyway, let's uh, move this forward a bit. Before we can get this all up and running though, it's time for another duplicant. Let's see what we've got. Well, I dislike the loud sleeper. We're going to be cramming a lot of duplicants onto this map. It's, it's best not to have people who snore. Uh, irritable bowel and tri trypophobia, I've been advised that's actually pronounced. Say hello to Patreon slash duplicant Vicky Radcliffe, number 41. Yeah, and it's only cycle 116. Well, Vicky, you will be assigned immediately to becoming a mechatronics engineer. Finally, we have plastic refinement up and running. So that's a steel polymer press. We're going to surround it with a bunch of temperature shift plates. This area is probably still going to overheat. We don't care. We only need a few hundred kilos of plastic. We've got plenty of steel actually already in. Mmm, wonderful. Eh, uh, next up I think is going to be our industrial sauna, though I have no idea where I'm going to put it just yet. We do have a lot of space to work with, thankfully. Before we take care of the industrial brick, there is one minor thing I want to take care of, and that is the constant food decay from pinch of pepper nuts. I've been letting the pinch of pepper nuts survive around the map, and... Well, I've no way to really store them. I used to store them up here in our centralized food area, but we can't really dump them to internet storage off automatically. It causes an infinite loop where they keep running around and around in circles. Oh, some people have been trying to replicate this infinite storage thing where you have uh, the four blocks that are around here and you build it diagonally. I think you can only build it from one direction, so you better make sure you can access this diagonally from both sides. I think they can only pull out or put in from one side. Let's see who's grabbing food here in a second. Ah, they had to go to this side and stand on this tile to pull the food out. So maybe they have to be... Oh, I, you know what? Make sure you have maybe it produced exactly like that if you're trying to replicate that thing. That is... It's just a bit odd. That's my first time using it and it seems to work quite well, though. Uh, I'm sure there's some bugs to it, though. I haven't been ironed out. Ah, excellent. Now we can stick all our pinch of pepper nuts in here. So long as we leave them down here and we don't rip out all the carbon dioxide, it should be fine. True, we were going to expand our power grid down there, but you know what? Who cares? Oh. This mess. I don't want you dumping water where you shouldn't. Uh, let's maybe put a little something right about there. That'll let all the water out of there fall down. Plastic production sorted. We can just wander... Okay, what was that? That was, yes, our next duplicate choice. Okay, very next step is going to be the industrial brick. 
looking at the negatives, none of them have anything we care too much about anymore. Even unconstructive at this point is not a problem considering how many constructors we have. So we don't need another cook, we've already got five. We don't need another farmer, we've already got lots. So that leaves husbandry we could always do with another rancher. So say hello to duplicate patron slash 42, Mark Lambert. Uh, Mark, you will become our next rancher. After careful location consideration, I think we will stick our industrial sauna over here. It's nice open space, it's a bit far away from our main base so the travel times will be painful, but we have enough labour we don't really care too much. Now let's clear out some of this gunk. That's most of the gunk removed. I, You know what, I think I am going to rip out these plants. I would I normally like to keep all the pinch pepper nuts so we can make tea for all our duplicates later, but that's a long way in the future and we do need to survive here as long as we can. So let's just dig all of that out and put in our steam turbines across the top here. This is going to be the start of our... Wait, who made a mess and how... How the... Oh, this is a low priority dig I set up just to get everyone in and out. You know what, we're going to have to increase maybe the priority in a bit of this. Let's make that some sixes along there. And maybe put in a couple of ladders at mark six as well. Yeah, right about there and there. And I have set everything to one, haven't I? Oh, that would explain why this down here is going a little bit slower. We have uh, this set up and I have set all my buildings to priority one. That was dumb of me. Hold on while I change everything back to five. I was using this as a, a low priority or the one up top. So that when my duplicates weren't doing anything, they'd have some excavation to do on the side. Of course, I instantly managed to trap a duplicate. Uh, just the way it goes. While they're busy doing that, though, we've also queued up some gold to get refined. We need to get some uh, radiant pipes down here, and we've sort of run out. What have we got? Ah, there, we got a little bit more. I want to set up at least five metal refinement stations down here. Do we need five? Well, maybe not, but I do want to refine as much of our metal as we possibly can as quickly as we can, because we're going to need it really quickly. Uh, over here... Let's see, we should be able to put that in, and we are going to stick on our, our aqua tuner made out of steel. We're going to stick that in that corner right there. We'll have to do the piping in a minute, but that should be fairly handy. Oh, and always make sure you've got a ladder going down the back so there's access one way or another. And yeah, we've got a ladder on this side. This will be the guts of our refinement section. We're going to have a lot of uh, refinement loops through here with refineries below them. We're going to have a whole, well, five steam turbines across the top. Uh, this is going to be our cooling loop along here. This uh, pipe here is going to be with the return flow. It's going to collect in this tank and then, oh, I forgot something, didn't I? Yeah, I need to measure the temperature in that before I dump it back in. All right, there we go. Liquid pipe thermal sensor installed and the automation wire for it. Oh, we still have to get power in here as well. That's going to be fun, but we need to get a little bit more gold first. It's just taking a little bit of time to refine it all because our refinement section is a bit... Well, ad hoc. I even stuck in an extra liquid pump so we could start refining things faster. <laughs> we have just gold queued up for days. Uh, but by the end of this, we should have all our refinement needs finished and we won't have to worry about this again. Before we can finish this off, though, time for some more printables. Well, flatulent is a big no-no. These two are perfectly acceptable, but this one has divers lung. Yes, yes, we will. The reduced oxygen consumption is going to become more and more important as the game goes on. Researching, supplying, and decorating, say hello to duplicant slash patron number 43, Mascot. All right, Mascot, you are going to be our next gopher. You will be carrying stuff around, namely because you're good at supplying and, well, yes, I don't need another researcher right now. All of this is now queued up. That's going to be an awful lot of metal refinement stations. However, I'd forgotten about coolant. Um, also, we've burned through all of our leftover petroleum. We've got 455 kilos left. My bad. That means we don't have enough for it to run through those refineries. I'm thinking, though... Or was it? I was looking down here and there is actually 1600 kilos of crude oil just sitting there and it's nice and cool and we can gain access to it. This stuff in here of course is at 90 degrees, much hotter, much harder to obtain. We're, we're not going in there for that, we'd need a, a bunch of atmos suits. We also got to go in here and remove this water, but there's something that's even more pressing right now. And that is, all of our hatcheries are finally full. All of them have 8 critters in them. That means over here we've been basically wrangling up the critters. Normally we would have just killed these off and we would have let these provide all our... Uh, new hatches. However, we decided to rapidly expand these, which is nice. We now have an awful lot of hatches, but we've got to deconstruct this, fill it full of water and start uh, converting all of these to meat. We're going to end up with a lot of meat this way. So with that gone, one second, get rid of that, make that a level seven. Door on top, all of these bottle entries up here, we'll dump in some water and then we'll end up with lots and lots of meat. To make sure we get some decent clean water in here, I have disabled this pump on our expended water supplies. And I've thrown in a couple of extra water pumps over here on our... Well, oh, wow, that's starting to drain rapidly now. Great, that, that timing is just perfect. Hopefully we can get enough water in and dumped into our... Mm, 
Where did they go? Yeah, jumped in over here to make sure that we get uh, our evolution chamber up and running. All right, this this is just embarrassing here. I I'm trying to drown them and they're just taking a nap while I'm trying to do it. Like, come on, at least pretend like this is discomforting you. What are you? We're up to 967 kilos. Oh, I think I think we finally hit capacity. Perfect, we can turn these off. All right, I think our calories are about to take a bit of a jump. Uh, we have nothing in meat at the moment, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to last for very long. And we'll change these to sweep only for now, and hopefully they won't dump any water anywhere. Uh, calories are remaining stable. 60,000 calories of barbecue. Okay, how much meat did we just suddenly generate there? 73,000 calories of meat. Perfect. And... Great. That's not good. It appears we didn't lose too much. I think it... Yeah, I think we're pretty safe. I think we maybe lost a couple of minutes at most. All right, perfect. We'll let those... Uh, those hatches evolve in peace, and then we're going to get around to finishing this off. First things first, we are going to fill this up with a little bit of polluted water on the bottom layer. Of course, before we get around to that, we've got to hire another duplicate patron. Considering the bottomless stomach trade is going to increase calorie consumption, so which is going to become difficult later on, I think that will stick with the trypophobia. So we've got another cook, so say hello to duplicate slash patron number 44, Jonas Jalling. Jalling? Okay, I'm gonna... I've mangled that, I know, but... Mm. Uh, Jonas, you will be our newest cook. This polluted water is going to spread out along the bottom, and when it does, it's going to force all the gases out of the way. So, well, it's going to produce a little bit of polluted oxygen at the time, but once we've got this filled up or the bottom layer done, we can move on to the clean water layer. With a layer of polluted water along the bottom, that means the only layer of gas is up there. We've got a couple of airflow tiles, we're going to chunk it, chuck in a big amount of water in here. The more water, the better. Probably about, uh, about 200 kilos per tile. And that should uh, give us a nice cooling pool. When you're doing this, you sometimes get the odd pocket of gas that will trap like some carbon dioxide, fluid oxygen, something like that. Just throw in some extra airflow tiles or replace your insulated igneous rock tiles with obsidian. Usually that little pop as it disappears and the other one clicks into place. So you can force the gas out of the way. Sometimes. No. Unfortunate. But we may have to go in there, build a block and then deconstruct it to get rid of that annoyance. There we go. A couple of bricks. We deconstruct those. Problem solved. And to think, I used to waste my time trying to make vacuums in the past. This is just so much more convenient. And how? How did that fluted oxygen get back in? Oh, you muppet. All right, all of these bottle emptiers have been changed to sweep only. We should have no more errands inbound. Once we sweep out the last of the gunk in here, we're going to seal it up and fire this. Oh, wait, no. We need we need coolant for these, don't we? Oh, and another thing. Uh, when you're connecting these up, if you connect them up like this, you see that it's trying to overwrite those pipes. Now... We could have tried to build these all at the same time, but it wasn't possible at the time. So now we've got this annoying habit where our, our dupes are going to want to go in there and replace some pipes. Simple enough, just connect them up and then immediately cancel. They'll still remain connected, it just won't try and overwrite those pipes with the insulated var variant. Now all we need is... Oh, missed one. Now all we need is something to fill up the refineries with. Probably some crude oil or some petroleum would do just fine. To get our hands on this coolant, we're going to have to do a few things. We have to get down here to where this crude oil is. I really should have kept some of the earlier stuff. But to do that, I also want to go in and tap into this water. This cool steam vent is naturally taming itself from this ice biome up here, but I'd like to start scooping this water out now before it fills up and starts choking at the vent. We, we need the water. So we'll build across here, and then we'll tap across the top and hopefully drain out some of the water, and eventually we can just start having it drain automatically and get dumped into our tank. Then once that's finished, we can dig straight down here, go through all of this junk, find out what that uh, vent slash geyser is, and also get our hands on the crude oil. And all in one job to, to finish this out. Minor change in plan on this. I'm actually going to let this drain out naturally, as in just build this along and let all the water flow down. I think that will be a little bit faster. Then we can seal it up and extract it out with a liquid pump as normal. Uh, what's this at? I think this is dormant for now. Or, yeah, it's dormant. We might go up and actually examine that now while we've got the chance. First... Yeah, let's just let it all run free. Unfortunately, before we can get there, or fortunately, whatever way you want to look at it, it's time for our 45th duplicate slash patron. Well, Loud Sleeper is going to be very uncomfortable in a colony of this size, so bottomless stomach or squeamish, but they both have divers lungs, so yeah, I think we'll go with the squeamish. Probably the least intrusive. Ooh, construction and athletics. Say hello to patron 45, Charlie Barnes. They will be our newest construction duplicate. While we wait for all of this water to drain out, this might take a little bit of time. We might as well do some exploring while we're waiting, so I think we'll continue excavating down here. Uh, worst case scenario, we might be able to come in and under and into that. Uh, though, actually, yeah, we could probably just dig straight across here and get access to that oil in a lot simpler and more direct manner. To aid with all this lovely digging, we're just sticking in a few oxygen diffusers here and there. They can go up and 
grab their oxygen as needs be. It's cutting down on transport times. You know what? Let's make sure that one gets some uh, algae in, in due course. And then we're going to dig all the way across here, get to this and get to that. At the same time, we have finally got to the oil biome and it's a mess. It's really, really hot. It's plus 100 degrees down here. Wow, that's 125. Yeah, there's a leak. There is definitely a leak down here somewhere. Uh, we need to get we need to get some atmosphere suits down here and we need to dig into the oil biome and find that leak and patch it before the whole thing turns into an incinerator. Uh, but we need metal refinement first. Do we? Yeah, no, we will definitely finish this off. We should be able to get it done pretty quick. Well, what we found down here is a minor volcano. You know what? Let's not even try opening up any more of that. Minor volcano right beside the oil biome. I don't know how good that useful that is going to be to us. Now, just checking down here, I can see that this is very hot down here. 136, 140? There's some kind of break down there. We need to get in closer and find out what it is. Uh, okay, but first, first we need to get just this oil out of here, this oil out of here, and get them pumped back up to our refinement stations. All of that tasty crude oil we found down here is just going to get pumped all the way up. It may take a while. All the way across, and we're going to start filling these up in order. It takes about 800 kilos per refinery to fill it up. Oh, and we're also going to want to start filling up our cooling loop. We have a cooling loop here. It goes all the way around. We will actually break it just there for the moment. And we're going to fill up that liquid tank. And then once it's full, we can turn it on and it should rotate all the way through, chilling everything down. So let's get our hands on some polluted water, shall we? For polluted water, we have lots of pools about the place, but they're very mixed, except for this one down here. So we'll stick a quick pump in there. We'll filter it just in case to make sure only polluted water comes out. Oh, we need a vent. All right, that will allow us to dump the polluted water, the uh, clean water out or anything that's not polluted water. The rest of it will all get shipped up here across and over into our cooling loop. All right, how is this doing? How much crude oil have you got in there? None. Where is our crude oil? Wow. The game is really, really slow right now. I can't put it on much faster. If I put it on much faster, it's I sometimes get the dupes getting idle. They're getting to the point where the calculations required to figure out what their next job is, is sort of slowing down the game just a teeny weeny bit. We are slowly but surely filling these up, but we do have some more printables because they don't stop coming. 45 dupes. Okay, number 46. Well, we don't want a loud sleeper and we would don't want flatulent. That narrows it down to a quick learner that's unconstructive, lots of supplying, so please welcome Patreon number 46, Matt Kowalski. Well, Matt, I think you will be going into supplying because of your bonus to strength. Oh, I just realized all of our schedules are full up to four by the top one. That means in two more duplicates time, we will have more than four dupes per schedule. We need to expand our toiletry facilities. Right now. Right now. Right now, uh, research-wise, yeah, we've finished a bunch of it. I've been using some of the water from over here to finish off our research. Not very efficient, but efficiency is not our biggest concern right now. I think what we're going to do, though, is throw in a whole bunch of toilets along another set of toilets right down here. That should make a good toiletry system. That will double us up so we can have eight people per schedule without any issues. These are actually used really, really frequently. <laughs> It's very rare you don't see someone at least in there washing their hands. Uh, there's, yeah, the next round of duplicates from the shift. I think we'll also expend, extend these storage tanks. I'll have to automate something to get rid of the, them later, but it's just there's so many duplicates and so much water going through them now, we need more storage tanks. Anna, you can be set to... Nope, no one's allowed in or out. You're going to be a one-way system so that everyone has, to, everyone who leaves has to wash their hands. Uh, that should be enough liquid storage tanks to keep us going for a while. It's also nice to see how much water we're going to get out of this whole system. All right, all done, all done. That should keep us from any backups happening. I even stuck in a few deodorizers to stop that polluted dirt from off-gassing too much. But that still leaves us with this. This suckers needs to be up and running right now. Much better. All the steam turbines are in place because we have plenty of plastic. We can get rid of crater eggs. As yes, we have about a ton of plastic left and 3.8 tons of steel. We can pretty much get most of what we need done to get uh, oxygen and cooling done. We are just about ready to boot it up. The last of the polluted coolant is coming in. Okay, perfect. That's that finished. We only have these three full of crude oil. The last two we'll have to fill up later, which means we can only really refine with these three. But first things first, let's get these connected. Oh wait, no, that is insulated piping. We get those connected. We set this to if the temperature is below 20 C. Wait, the temperature is above 20 C. I want you to activate and cool it down some more. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. And then that should allow coolant to spread around. What's the water at? 35? Ooh, wow, that started off pretty warm. You know what? It's going to warm up the area a little bit as it first gets going. 
but that's okay. Oh, wow, that is pretty warm. Never mind, let's get this uh, refinement started. We're going to have iron refined over here, so we're just going to refine iron forever, refine steel forever. Done. Oh, we better get ourselves some refined carbon. We don't have enough of it. Let's just say 20 in each of these, copy it across. And we've got these set up to store the different things. So there's iron ore stored in here, refined carbon and line stored in there, and iron stored in the final one. That way, that auto sweeper can do most of the moving about, and we should now have lots and lots of steel coming our way. Oh, and these coal generators better get filled up pretty soon. Come on, people. And next, this one over here, we're going to want a lot of gold amalgam, so... Gold. You know what? Let's just let's just queue up 99. 99 is fine. And we should probably queue up some copper. You know what? We'll queue up 99 to that as well. And that's our refinement queued up. <laughs> Done. We shouldn't have to worry about that for a while. We are going to eat through our coal at an absolutely gargantuan rate, but we don't care. We're making more of it as we go. Uh, at the same time, it's time to put in... Well, it's time to put in some atmosphere docks down here. We need to start strip mining out the coal biome. I'm thinking... Oh yeah, if we want to put in atmosphere docks though, we need an oxygen production facility. So maybe put in an oxygen production, a couple of Rodriguez is up here, and dump one of them into some atmosphere docks. I'm thinking the simplest thing for us to do is actually dig this area out here and stick in all our Rodriguez's and... Oh, printables, excellent. Well, either one would be perfect, they've both got traits that are perfectly acceptable, but I think we're going to go with this one. The gastrophobia is fine, but the uncultured means they'll get a bigger boost for morale. So say hello to duplicant slash patron number 47. We got Furious George. Well, well, George, you are going to be going straight into excavation. You're going to become a build digger. Down here, we're just coring this out, hopefully keeping most of the water around. I think we'll just sort of make a water tank down here. That should allow us to scoop out this whole area and turn it into something that's uh, good enough for our oxygen production needs to get into the oil biome. Well, that's a good start. We've almost demolished most of that. I think I'm just going to let that oil flow down in there. We can start that out later, but... It's time for another duplicate. Well, they're all pretty much decent. They're all decent choices. Their negatives are pretty minor. This one has diver's lung, and considering how many dupes we're going for, please welcome Baz Poulton, duplicate slash patron number 48. Oh man, this is getting excessive, I think I want to say. Uh, no, we got excessive a while back. This is going to get even more excessive. At 48, that means we can hire another 12 duplicates before our current oxygenation system is going to start running short. So let's get this up and running. Well, we've run into a bit of a problem. Uh, the problem is Zombie Pops has trapped themselves on some ladders. Um, I'm trying to get emergency ladders built, but whatever's happened, the urns are being picked up by people who are miles away. And there's Baz, but I don't think Baz is going to get there in time. They're down to like 3% breath and 2% uh, one. Yeah, I don't think they make... Ah! <laughs> Okay, so that's our that's our first loss. I'm not going to say that will be our last, but that was kind of... who? How? How are you suffocating? I left this over here to help them breathe, and I put that over there to help them breathe, and why is the battery power on that running out? That should not be happening. Where is it? How are you running out of battery power? Oh, yeah. Okay, first we've got a printable, which we have to take care of, and then we also have to, uh, yeah, stick in another battery here. Extra batteries added, new printables available. Oh, this is kind of dark. We've just lost a duplicate, and now we're about to hire another one. Well, germ resistance and no taste are great, but diver's lung cannot be beaten. So say hello to duplicate 48 again? Well, it should be 49, but Nathaniel Wool Woolhouse. And uh, Nathaniel, you'll be going into cooking. We've got, we've actually ended up with an awful lot of cooks. I'm very sorry, Zombie Pops. I did not think that was a possibility. Well, I knew eventually it was going to happen. It's just... ah. When we were down here, I was trying to get duplicates to build those two ladder segments to save them, and even though there was plenty of materials around, people from miles away were getting assigned to it. I tried cancelling it, redoing it. It just would not work. Uh, let's uh, get ourselves down a tombstone. Well, there's Zombie Pops getting carried back to their grave. Uh, we've made a nice little tasteful grave so we can have a nice ceremony for you. Apologies again. Well, yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of tears around this in a while. There's 47 more duplicates who have to come along and do that. I wonder if you can harvest those tears. Can you? Or is it just actually an animation? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any water coming out of them, is there? Nope, no water. Never mind. Hmm. Jeez. Okay, what does that actually do? Morning, maybe? Morning actually reduces stress. Okay, that probably makes up for the stress of having a duplicate die. Yeah. Uh, 
Sorry again about that zombie pops. To go up to 141, I'll have to take another name. We'll we'll, we'll figure something out. But for now, let's uh, just get the last of this built so we can put in our oxygen diffuser setup over here. By oxygen diffuser setup, I mean a uh, full Rodriguez there, maybe two. Well, one to start anyway, and we're going to use that to feed into some atmosphere docks down here. Uh, as we break through, you can see the water starting to pour out of here. This is the ice biome we melted really early on in the series. I can't even remember what episode. Maybe episode two, three? I I'm not sure. Anyway, that will all pour down there and we'll have ourselves a second big tank of gunk to fill up our electrolyzers with. The temperature of that is, actually, I think it's about 30 degrees, so there's not really much more heat we should really be dumping into that. I mean, we could, but I think, yeah, I think that'll do for our next electrolyzer setup. This is taking way too long to do. Also, a bunch of my dupes are getting scalded working around this. But that's okay, we've got a new duplicant coming along right now. Uh, with strength and science over here, I think we've got ourselves another duplicant, and it's ya boy. Duplicant slash patron number 49, well, okay, realistically 50, with the current losses. Um, okay, so they'll be joining us. Once we finish this, we can start putting in the, um, the electrolyzer, but dear lord, this is taking a lot longer than I was expecting. The problem is people keep catching hyperthermia, or they get scalded, or they get, uh, well, lots of things happen to them. Also, stop, you know, you, you sure you want to stand there? Come on. Just move. Yeah, they're all starting to kind of glitch out because there's so many of them. Yeah, what are you doing going back in there? You want to stand in the hot oil again? That's uh, that's not probably the smartest plan, buddy. You know what, I think I'm going to send everyone back to uh, to the, the cots to repair for a bit. With pretty much all of that demolished. Well, yeah, maybe I went a little bit too far there demolishing everything, but sometimes you just want to finish things off. Uh, over here we're going to put in an electrolyzer setup and then we're going to feed it down to some atmosphere docks down there. Same as the one above, should be fairly simple. We have almost finished this off. It's amazing how much you can get done in under three cycles when you have this many duplicates running around. Uh, this is going to be the very similar to the one up top, though I'm going to do a little bit of rejigging on this oil fissure. I want the oil to pour down here and we'll probably filter it to try and take the oil out. Or maybe I should just seal that thing up entirely. I think we've got enough plastic out of it already and I'm kind of sick of my duplicates getting scalded. You know what? Yeah, let's seal this up. It, it's beginning to become an annoyance. Uh, next up will be... Ooh, yeah, cooling. We're going to cool all the output from this before we put it into the atmosphere suits. Now, you shouldn't really do that. If you put the oxygen into the atmosphere suits, it's consumed and no one really cares about the heat. However, we are going to also distribute the oxygen around the bottom of the base because it's getting... Well, the oxygen pressure here is a bit low and we have to use algae to keep things going. Our algae reserves are okay, it's just a case of, well, we'd rather get this cooled and ready for the next stage. Unfortunately, before we can get this all done, it's time for more printables. You guessed it. Duplicant number 50 slash 51 if you include the, uh, oh, I would really like that plus seven ranching, but the anemic is just a no-no. Loud sleeper, no thank you, gastrophobia we can live with. Excavation and strength, I think we've got ourselves a new digger. Say hello to Tim Kultas. Kultas? Uh, they will be our digger, uh, a digger for our, our colony. Now, I think we're going to have to call it an episode there. We've managed to get at, or up to 50 colonists. I'm trying to get 10 colonists in per episode, and I think we've done extremely well today. We've got all of this in, and our refinement is going ahead, well, perfectly. This seems to be cooling itself down just fine. We could probably, wow, it's actually really chill. That worked out quite well. Next up, though, we're going to finish this off, get uh, people into the oil biome, but at the same time, we're also going to start excavating up into space. All of these nasty gases down here, they're starting to get a little bit problematic. I've been dumping them into these gas containers, but that was a temporary measure. We're going to have to run gas lines from the bottom all the way up to the top of them up and just dump the gas into space. We could use carbon filters to turn it into polluted water and all that. You know what? I, I don't care. We're going to make a, a gas pipe that gets rid of all the chlorine, the natural gas, and the, the carbon dioxide and dump them into space. But uh, we'll cut it out there. I uh, hope you enjoyed and good luck.